Well, what? What do you want? Where is the prison robot number four? I don't know what you're talking about. Its signal is pulsed here. We know number four was here. Number four? I monitored your guards while orbiting this moon. They spoke of an encounter with number four in the sewer. I, I think the, the prisoner, the salesman, the, the guards said a, a metal man protected him. Salesman? Where did they go? I don't, I don't know. They, they left. They... Where are they? I, th I think, I think they were from, from Mars. Then there is no more use for you. Wait, no, no. Why are you doing this? We haven't done anything to you. We got, we came in peace. We have seen what your race is capable of. There could be no peace with humans. Only death and destruction and freeze must live. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's get back to it. You found all the pieces of the, uh, the, the... Verisian. Right. Uh, you got the pieces of the Verisian robot. And Aurora put it all back together. And then what? Then we ran into a bit of a snag. Looks like we hit a dead end, X. What are you talking about? I'm sure you can patch this up. I don't think so. Look at the size of this hole. Plus, that blaster shot hits his power core. I take it it's a bad thing. There's no way I can fix it. It's impossible. I mean, can you just, um, you know, uh, like, put something together? From scratch? This is Rhysian technology. I don't think so. Unless you want me to stroll into town and ask someone if they have an extra Rhysian power core. Hmm. Actually, that's not a bad idea. What did you... Wait, you don't mean... Pete? From Pete's Ukulele Emporium. Wow, I think you might be onto something. Didn't he find a way to go back to Earth where the Vrisians landed? Yeah, I remember him asking Uncle Jeto exactly where it happened, where we used to live. Right, and when Jeto told him it was too dangerous, he said something about a suit that would protect him from radiation. And then he went looking for Vrisian artifacts. Space decks, that's brilliant. You definitely gotta check that out. But there's another problem. If we can get this robot working again, I'm sure the answers we're looking for are going to take us off planet. We've got to find a different ship. All right, we'll add it to the list. Number one, impossible to find Vrisian power core. Number two, find a ship off planet. Sounds like a plan. I'll stay here and study this robot. That way, when you find that power core, I'll know how to install it. Gotcha. I'll come back if I need any help, Aurora. Oh, and Dexter. Yeah? Steer clear of Pete's dog. He's kind of a monster. You got it, Aurora. I'll avoid all monsters. All right. I kept some of the items I picked up earlier. Now I need to find a Vrisian power core and a spaceship off planet. Let's do it. Who are you? I'm Polly. Are you a space scout? Huh, <laughs> what gave it away? Your badges and pins, neat. Yeah, they're all right, I guess. I'm still missing my navigator's badge. How do you get that? Well, I have to help someone navigate through the forest. What are you playing? The new Captain Space Quest game. It has awesome 3D graphics. 3D graphics? I remember when the first Captain Space Quest came out. It had really great pixel art. Pixel art? Gross! I hate pixel art. It looks so old. Hey, there's a lot of skill that goes into pixel art. Some say we're in a pixel art revival. At least that's what my friend Jeremy says. 
that's just a bunch of old farts in their 30s trying to relive their youth. My friends and I could care less about pixel art. 3D graphics are the way of the future. You have to know where you've been to know where you're going. So put those games in a museum. A museum? Look, let me ask you a question. If your life were a game, what would it look like? Wouldn't it more closely resemble 3D graphics? Sure, but if my life were a game, it would be an adventure game, and everybody knows they look better in pixel art. Look around you. Wouldn't all this look super cool if it were pixel art? No, it wouldn't. It should at least be traditionally illustrated. Ugh, kids. Where's the rest of your troop? They're out in the forest somewhere. Why aren't you with them? Well, today's navigation day, and the scout leader said that I can't go with them because I don't have my navigator's badge. What do you need to do to get your navigator's badge? Well, I have to help someone navigate through the forest. I lost my compass, though, and I don't have a map of the forest. Maybe I can help you find those things. Who knows? I may even need to find something in the forest. That would be great. Thanks. With a compass and a map, I can get you anywhere, even if it's off the beaten path. Great. I'll be back. I'll be here. Come and get your coupon now. Cures hunger. Hey, Reggie, what's going on, man? Hola, Dex. As you can see, I'm just handing out these free taco flyers while feeding off the energy from the universe that surrounds us all. Energy? Sure. The universe gives off free energy that sustains both you and I and everything around us. Kind of like free tacos? Exactly like free tacos. I can't feel anything, except now I'm hungry for some tacos. That's it. That's the energy, man. Okay, so... Tell me more about this energy from the universe. Oh, I'm glad you asked, but unfortunately, there isn't much to tell. You see, this energy goes largely undetected, almost imperceptible from our standpoint. What do you mean? It can't be measured, it can't be seen, it can't be heard, but it's there. Like a dream? Quite the opposite. It's more like the fabric of reality itself. What is all of this that surrounds us? What is time? What is space? Time is indefinite, space is infinite, but we experience both of them, no? But there's a hidden layer underneath all of it. If someone were to discover how to control it, manipulate it, it could be the end of everything as we know it. Whoa. Whoa indeed, Dex man. How does it feel to be a giant taco? Uh, the same as it feels to be a person, I suppose. Just a little more sweaty. Do you know where I can find a way to get off planet? Off and on adventure, are we? Uh, something like that. Well, why don't you use your uncle's ship? It's not quite available at the moment. Oh, I see. Have you talked to Bob? Hey, that's a good idea. I should talk to Bob. He and my father were good friends. I'm sure he'll let me take his saucer without telling Uncle Jet. I mean, that's a good idea. It's okay, Dexter. Let the universe guide you. Free tacos at the taco sh- Come and get your coupon. Dexter, you're back. What can I do for you, my guapo taco? Speaking of free energy, can I have one of those free taco flyers? Of course, that's what I'm here for. To give the people of Nuevo Consuelo access to free tacos, much like the free energy that springs forth from the universe and nourishes us all. Uh-huh. Thanks. No problem, Dex man. And just remember that your quest will lead you to more free tacos. It will lead you on a journey to discover what all of this means and what you are willing to do for our own species and all others alike it. I can feel the energy coming from the universe. G great, thank you. Free tacos at the talk. Come and get you. Cures hunger. No one's around. This basic credit card is mine. Rats, it doesn't have any credits left on it. I guess I can use it to open a locked door or something. Now let's see what's in the trash. Nah, I don't need a name tag. 
I don't know what this is. Maybe I can ask Aurora. Aha, this could be useful. It's a deflated inflatable pig. It's a vending machine that sells oxygen tanks for diving suits. It says the key for PPH3 has been lost in the lake. A diving crew is coming Friday to retrieve it. I don't think anybody will miss a couple of thumbtacks. I'll take both of them. I don't have any use for it. It's a balmy 35 degrees Celsius. Perfect weather for a leather jacket. This calendar may come in handy. I may have to prove to someone what day of the week it is. A hose can definitely come in handy. This toolbox has a pretty sturdy padlock on it. I don't think I'm getting in there without a key or some bolt cutters. It's out of gas. It's locked. Ugh, the credit card broke, but I got the door open. Hmm, let's see what we got here. really dark back here. Hey, I think I'm under that monument in town. What's that? Ow! Stupid pipe. I'm not going back there again. It's dark and scary. Tacos at the taco shack. Mm. Aloha, Lucky. Oh, uh, hey, Dex. W what's up? Hey, Lucky, do you have any vegetables? Look, Dexter, I hate that joke. It wasn't funny the first time, and it's mm. <clears throat> not funny now. This is a fruit store. It says so on the sign. You can leave your. Mm. <clears throat> Vegetable talk outside. Space Lucky, I'm sorry. I was just playing around. Fruit is serious business. Do you have any idea how hard it is to... <clears throat> keep Terran species alive on this planet? Do you? I'm sorry, sorry. It's okay, just don't... <clears throat> Let it happen again. Lucky, do you miss Earth? It would be impossible not to. They had so many varieties of fruits, and my father was only able to salvage so many <clears throat> species. But what about Earth itself? Like the land and the oceans and stuff? The land was beautiful, and the soil was so rich. You could plant a fruit tree just about anywhere, and it would grow. In the ocean? Oh, you can't grow fruit in the ocean. Everyone <clears throat> knows that. Thanks, Lucky. I think I got it. Do you know of a way off planet? What are you asking for? Just use Jeddo's ship like you always do. Oh, well, it's it's not really, um... Say no more. I get it. You don't want... <clears throat> your uncle to know. Uh, something like that. You should ask Bob. Although, I think he said something a while ago about someone named... <clears throat> Doug coming to repair the PH whatevers. You know, those huts with the numbers on the doors. Yeah, I've seen them. I'll, I'll ask him about it. I'll take one. Not to eat, but just to have one to stuff in a drawer or something. Hey, Lucky, can I have a watermelon? Tell you what, if you can get rid of these 
flies, you can have all the watermelon you'd like. Yeah? Mm. <coughs> well, I do accept money, but I don't think you have any. Money, eh? Yeah. Ever heard of it? I've heard things. I'll figure something out. Mm. <coughs> Free tacos at... Come and get your coupon now. Do not touch. Well, now I want to touch it. Weird. It was just taped on. It has screws keeping it shut. Okay, let's see what's under this panel. Ouch! I can't pick that up. I'm sure nobody will miss this. It says the water behind the taco shack makes for a deadly insect spray. It says, make sure Bob gives you a hand. It says, hot sauce and pink flamingos make for a fiery chew toy. It says, some waterfalls aren't natural. It says, why aren't tacos a more popular picnic food? It says, two gumballs and then a compass. It says, octopus plus rope equals key. It says, siphon gas with a hose and a canister. It says, the phone in the forest doesn't work. It says, music can sometimes be distracting. It says, Reggie is right. It says, nobody really likes bananas. It says, are you ready to learn the truth? It says, they're on to you. It says, in order to move ahead, you have to remember where you've been. It says, Doug is dead. It says, some monsters are real. It says, there are secrets to be found under the bodega. It's a display for ukulele strings. It says, Wonderstring brand ukulele strings are played by all the galaxy's top ukulele players. From Wilfred Four Strings McGee all the way to Monk the Pinky Picker Alejandro. Once you strum these strings, you'll never go back to strumming the strings you used to strum, unless you've always strummed these strings. In which case, you'll continue strumming these strings you've always strummed. Get yourself a pack today for the low price of $9.99. Wow, that's a good price. Hey, Amy. Hey, Dex. What's up? Why is that hallway so long? Pete said that people are more likely to buy if they get to walk around. I don't know if that's true. Wouldn't it make more sense to check out at the entrance? You know as well as I do. You can't argue with Pete. I'm looking for a way off planet. Any ideas? Your uncle locked the navigational system on the ship again, didn't he? Well... What was it this time? A joyride through the Oort cloud? No, no, Aurora would never. Or maybe you and Aurora visited one too many taco shacks instead of going on sales calls. Well, we do. No, I got it. You went to Ganymede, got thrown in prison, escaped with a Regian robot, and you told your uncle who doesn't want you to have anything to do with it. Am I right? What? How did you... Aurora told me. You know we talk like every day, right? Oh yeah, right. If you're looking for a way off planet, ask Bob. His saucer is interplanetary. I'm pretty sure he can fly you just about anywhere you need to go. Good idea. Thanks. Hey, Amy. Hey, Dex. What's up? I'm sorry to hear what happened with Troy. Well, I'm not. Frankly, it was a long time coming. Oh. Yeah, he's a jerk. He thinks that people want to be with him just because he's good at stuff. I'll tell you something, Dexter. You treat a person nice, put their needs ahead of your own, and it doesn't matter what you're good at. Everyone wants to be with someone like that. That's good advice. You're thinking about Aurora, aren't you? Uh, no. It's okay, Dex. I know what's going on. Just be patient. Treat her nice. But don't pass up a good opportunity to tell her how you feel. Thanks, Amy. No problem, Dex. 
I really need a ukulele. Do you have any money? Uh, not really. Do you have a voucher for a free ukulele? No. How do you get one? Well, there was a guy who was supposed to hand them out in hopes of bringing in more business. As far as I know, he went to the forest for lunch and never came back. Maybe you could find one of those vouchers in the forest. Hasta luego, Amy. All right, Dex. Come back anytime. Or whatever. Free tacos at the Taco Shack. It tells the story of how Jesus Santiago Ortega and his sidekick Mario Luigi settled Mars. Spacey? These are the first two guys to colonize Mars. The guy on the left is Uncle Jetto's great, 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 great grandfather. Huh, it looks like it fell to the ground somehow. Imagine that. Hey, I kind of feel like a pirate with this thing. Sandy? Danny? Is that you? Oh, hey, look, Danny, it's that guy from Ganymede. Jumping Jupiters, Dexter. What are you doing all the way out here? I live here. My Uncle Jetto owns the bodega in town. You don't say. What brings you to Mars? We followed the signal from that Verizian robot all the way out here. Oh, that's interesting. Why does that interest you? Oh, um, no reason. I haven't seen it. Not me. No robots here. At least not any from Planet X. <laughs> well, my tracker broke again. As soon as I fix it, we can start looking for that robot. Cool, cool, cool. So, how do you guys get around from planet to planet? Do you have your own ship? Nah, we just take the space bus. Yeah, we love it. Space bus? Hmm. Probably not the best place to drag the robot. Um, I mean, roadblocks. You, you probably get stuck in a lot of roadblocks when you take the space bus. Uh, not really. It's kind of... In space. All right, duh, space. <laughs> Thanks again for helping out with those proverbs on Granny Mead. Where? Granny Mead. You mean Ganny Mead. That's what I said, Granny Mead. Granny? Yeah, I think Aurora said it's named after Zeus's grandmother, Mead. Right. You know, I, I don't think you'll find any Vriesian robots here. Why are you so sure? Because I, I live here and I know every nook and cranny of this town. I know all the people and I, I haven't heard anything. Nope, nothing. Hmm, since you know the town so well, maybe you can help us out. In order to fix my tracker, I have to repair the power core. Or I could get a new one. Do you know where I can find a new power core? One with lots of power. Power core? I don't. It's just that, um, I don't know what that is exactly. I, I really should be going. See ya. Sometimes I feel like he's not being entirely truthful. Jeez, what gave it away? I think this is Troy's upper car. Looks like this thing has a combustion engine. Gas powered. It's locked. Looks like a low altitude flying saucer. Man, these things really go. Hey Troy, what's up dude? Go away man. I don't want to talk to nobody. Get out, primo. Why so hostile? Amy broke up with me. Sorry to hear that, Troy. I just don't get it. Why would she break up with me? All I did was make fun of Chucho because he saw the bog monster. Wait, you don't think she likes Chucho, do you? I don't know. You do have the biggest ego around, so who's to say? Thanks. You didn't have to say that. Well, I mean it. Just leave me here. Maybe some tacos will cheer me up. Too bad all that music on the jukebox stinks. I really wish the jukebox had some songs from the light years. Something to take my mind off of Amy. I'll see what I can do. Hey man, what are you doing with my keys? Oh, nothing. I must have bumped into you. Go away, man. 
I don't want to bother him. Hey, it's a freezing robot. How you doing? Hey, what's going on? Why are you wearing a costume of a Vrezian robot? Well, I used to be a member of SHU and I... Wait, SHU? Yes, SHU. S-H-O-E. The Sympathetic Humans of Earth. The Experimental Bluegrass Band? You're looking at me like you haven't heard of SHU. No, sorry. Are you guys famous or something? Ha, huh, you could say that. We're known for wearing these Vrezian robot costumes while we play. Oh, why do you wear them? It's a symbolic form of sympathy towards the Varesians' plot. You do know they attacked us, not the other way around. Like I said, it's symbolic. All very presents threaten them. That's why this ain't robots and a radioactive device destroy all life on Earth. They were just defending themselves against an unknown threat, which is us. We're one of the top 25 experimental bluegrass bands this side of the system. Really? Yeah. We sold over 85 albums last year. That many? Wow. You guys must really have something special. We, I, I mean, they do. What do you mean they? Well, they kicked me out of the band, said I wasn't necessary anymore. Oh, what instrument do you play? All of them, but I don't really play them in the band. I'm the roadie. Oh, I see. The roadie for a band that sold 85 albums. Over 85 albums. Oof. You must be devastated. You have no idea. I'm just so worried about them. I used to tune all their instruments before the show. Who's going to tune their instruments now? Don't musicians know how to tune their own instruments? Barely. Well, I hope they let you back in. It sounds like they really need you. What are you drinking? Horchata. Ooh, they make the best horchata here. I know. That's why I'm here. Why don't you take your mask off? Okay, if you must know, it's, it's stuck. Maybe you can just cut it off. Well, I could still drink through the mouth hole. Oh, well then. I guess you're all set. Yeah, pretty much. See you later, robot dude. Remember, peace with the Vrezians is possible. Hey, Taco Bot. Bienvenido al Taco Shack. Can Taco Bot take your order? Yeah, I'll have the three carne asada tacos, por favor. Bien, that'll be four spacey credits and 50 spacey credit cents. Put it on my tab. No credits, no tacos. Hola, Taco Bot. It's free taco day. Can I have my free tacos, please? That flyer is only good on free taco day, which is Tuesday. According to Taco Bot's internal programming, today is Monday. No, 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 it's not. It's, um, I I'm pretty sure it's free taco day today. Pretty sure TacoBot has precise mathematical formulas driving internal systems. Today is not free taco day. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Isn't what? Are you asking TacoBot? Asking what? If it's free taco day. W what did I say? It is. There you go. You said it yourself. You cannot trick TacoBot. TacoBot has an unalterable internal system indicating what day of the week it is. Which is today. No, it isn't. Free Taco Day would have to change days if Taco Bot were to distribute free tacos today. Change days, you say? A can of spray foam can definitely come in handy. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm not carrying around dead fish in my jacket. It's the access panel for the Taco Bot. I bet you can change its programming from back here. Maybe I can program it to make that giant burrito I've been dreaming about. Let's get these screws out and see what's going on underneath. It looks like the only thing you can change is free taco day. Let's take a look at what we got here. Hola, Taco Bot. It's free taco day. Can I have my free tacos, please? Excellent. Today is Monday, which according to my system is free taco day. Three free tacos coming up. Ooh, uh, three tacos and some hot sauce.
I don't think that'll fit in my jacket. That would be cool, but Aurora and I don't need any low altitude flying vehicles at the moment. Looks like Bob can go just about anywhere around the system. Oh look, his saucer service even goes to the Earth's moon. I heard there used to be a theme park there. Bob? Psst. Bob. Uh. Psst. Bob, are you awake? Huh? What? It's Dexter Stardust. Are you awake? Yeah. I don't think you're awake. What makes you say that, Captain Space Quest? It's Dexter. Dexter Stardust. Bayard's son. Bayard. Oh, hey, buddy. Good to see you escaped the Vreesians, too. No, Bob. It's Dexter. Dad died when the Vreesians attacked. That's too bad. Bayard and I were good friends. We used to talk about starting a business together. Oh man, he's out. Bob, I want to charter your flying saucer. Huh? You, you want to what? I want to charter your flying saucer to get off planet. No can do, buddy. What? Why not? PPHs are down. PPHs? Yeah. Planetary positioning huts. There's three of them here in Nuevo Consuelo. What do they do? They help plan your off-planet trajectory. They triangulate your position. They communicate with our PPHs around the system. Advanced ships like your uncle's don't need PPHs, but my saucer isn't as advanced. Can't go anywhere unless you activate all three. In the right order, that is. All right, how do we activate them? We have to find each one, make sure they have power, and then turn them on manually. First, PPH, it's out on the island in the lake. You gotta have a boat to get out there. there. Should be one on the docks. The second PPH is out by the overlook. You usually keep your uncle's ship out there. Oh yeah, our ship is out there right now. The third PPH is in the forest somewhere. Forest, it's a bit tricky. You need to, you need someone to guide you to get you to that one. Someone who's good with navigation. Maybe that space scout I talked to can help me. I also heard that the key to PPH number three went down with the Fregadero. Does that mean... It's at the bottom of the lake. Hope you got a diving suit. But how do I know what order to activate them in? Ask Doug. Who's Doug? Doug's the PPH repairman. I gave him the activation sequence and a death grip on that piece of paper. He die before he let go of it. What if I can't find this, Doug? I don't know. Try a random sequence, I guess. All right. Thanks, Bob. No problem. It's incredible how coherent he is while unconscious. Talk to you later, Bob. Okay. Come back anytime. It's the T-9000 mechanical hand. Spacey. Okay, let's see here. Good thing the Quick Drive 3000 is a Phillips head. Sorry about this, Bob, but I need you to give me a hand. Admittedly, it's adorable. There's nothing displayed. I don't think the computer is on. There's nothing interesting to do with it. I think that's where you put in the coordinates of the planet you want to visit. That's not the inflatable animal I need. That dog sure likes destroying things. Is Pete home? I'm Pete. Great. I was wondering if... Go away! Something tells me I'm going to have to find another way in. Who is it? 
Hi, this is Dexter Stardust, and I wanted to ask you about your Breezing Power Core. What about it? Oh, so you do have one. Great. I was wondering if... Wondering what? If you could borrow it? Maybe just a little bit? You think I purchased a radiation resistant suit, chartered a ship, travel all the way back to Earth in search of Breezing technology, just so you borrow it? Sure. Ha! Not a chance. Well, at least now I know for sure Pete has a freezing power core. If I can just talk to him in person, I'm certain he would be more reasonable about me using it. Now, how am I going to get past Pete's dog? Ooh, he looks pretty mean. Hey, wait. He's got some kind of a helmet thingy. Looks like mind control. Hello, doggy. <laughs> nice doggy. I already know Pete has a power core. I'm sure he'd let me borrow it if I could just talk to him in person. I just need to get past this mean dog of his. Free dog. Come and get your coupon now. Tacos at the top. The padlock doesn't stand a chance. Great spacey nachos. Now I can get into those taped up boxes in the bodega basement and attic. Ah, it's locked. I don't think Uncle Jetto wants anyone getting into the bodega basement. Free tacos. Spicy enchiladas. This looks like the image on Monk's t-shirt. I wonder if he knows about it. There's a note on the back. It says, who is Pato Loco? But it seems like a MacGuffin to another adventure story. So I'll just leave it here. Uncle Jetto's old yoga mat may come in handy. Hmm, I think it's a painting of Pete from Pete's Ukulele Emporium. It's kind of weird that this is in Uncle Jetto's attic. Let's see what's in this box. Holy nachos! It's a box filled with plastic pink flamingo lawn ornaments. I'll just take one. I don't need to cut that. It's my old Teddy. Uncle Jetto got it for me when we settled here on Mars. I used to sleep with it every night. I stress, used to. I don't think adventurers carry around teddy bears, so I'll forgo carrying around this guy. I doubt I'll need it anyway. Let's see what's in this box. You never know when you need a dinosaur grabber. I could record some audio with this. Hold on, what's this photo under this old rag? What? Holy chimichanga. It's the same picture from our ship, but it has my mom on it. Why would Uncle Jetto keep this from me? I'm taking it. Mom, 
Why did a robot from your home planet come looking for me? Something's written on the back. Jetto, Bass, and Venturia. My dad used to go by Bass. Bayard Alexander Stardust. Jetto, Jesus Emanuel Domingo Ortega. And my mom, a good team. Wait a second, are these coordinates? Rendezvous? Rendezvous for what? Oh, space. More pieces to the puzzle. Focus, Dexter. Don't get sidetracked. It talks about the myth of the Martian bog monster. Hey, that's the monster that Chucho was talking about. Alrighty, let's hear how to avoid and summon the bog monster. The speaker doesn't seem to be working. Let's take a look underneath this panel. No wonder the button won't work. The speaker's blown out. I wonder if there's some other way to hear the recording. I don't know what goes in here, but I think it might be connected to the antenna holder. Hmm, maybe I can figure out how to broadcast the audio recording instead of playing it through the speaker. Hey, I think the circuit board fits in here. It still doesn't seem ready to broadcast. I think it still needs an antenna of some kind. Okay, Space Scouts, this way to the waterfall. Wait, no, maybe it's behind us, or, or in front. Hold up, Troop, I'll show you how to read a map like a true navigator, as soon as I figure out where we are. Hmm, they look really lost. Hey, you guys look lost. Do you need any help? No thanks, we're on our way to see the waterfall. I'm just taking a brief look at this map here. Are you sure? You look really lost. Thank you for your concern, sir, but I assure you we have everything under control. It's not a big deal. I'm sure I can call someone or... We are very capable, sir. We have our official navigator's badges to prove it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know you had a badge. It's okay, sir. Now I must concentrate on leading my troop. All right. See ya. Never know when you'll need some rope. It's not doing any good attached to this piece of junk. It's the emergency saucer dome eject handle. A few pumps ought to do it. One. Two. Whoa. Keep your eyes peeled, Scouts. We don't want any surprises. Ooh, I hope it didn't hit anyone. Let's see what's inside the cockpit. Something tells me I'm going to be picking up a lot of keys. I can't fly a saucer. Besides, this thing is toast anyways. Um, no. It's locked. Yikes! It's super slippery! I can't cross it until I figure out how to make it less slippery. Now that's a novel idea. It's a delightful pile of garbage. Neato. There's not much here, but I guess I can take this empty can. It looks like there's an entrance to the cave behind the waterfall. I wonder how you get back there. Yeah, this will definitely fit in my jacket. 
Wow, I'm surprised the saucer dome didn't shatter when it hit the bamboo. Well, it's a little bent up, but I think it'll still work. The antenna and the circuit board are in place. Now, I just have to find a radio that can transmit at 95.5. It looks like a crate from Pete's Ukulele Emporium. It's all broken up. Hmm, it looks like a bunch of free ukulele vouchers. I wonder what happened here. I don't want a broken crate and handful of torn up free ukulele vouchers. A perfect place for a taco break. was a close one. I narrowly escaped. Choo Choo was right. That bog monster does exist. Hey, wait. Some of my inventory's gone. Ah, oh, some of my best stuff too. My crowbar, shovel, screwdriver, and my decoder glasses. That stupid bog monster must have eaten it. How am I going to get my inventory items back? Whew, good thing that bog monster didn't eat my hot sauce. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'll just turn this. I'll just turn this. I'll just pull this and see what happens. Hey, I turned it on. I must have gotten the sequence right. Doug, he's wearing a pilot's flight suit. Looks like that gash on his side is what did him in. I wonder what got him. He had a key in his pocket. I don't have any use for it. Looks like this guy was carrying this around. Mm, nothing of interest though. What's this? It's the PPH activation instructions. Bob was right. Doug did have a death grip on it. Your instructions to activate all three radio huts. Hmm, looks like there's a specific order. It goes one, then two, then three. Absolutely genius. Hey, Uncle Jetto, can I play with the radio? I'll stop you in. Okay, let's see what we got here. The Secrets of the Bog Monster. Oh, space. 
It's transmitting from the kiosk in the forest. I did it! The Martian bog monster has been seen by so few people that some believe it doesn't even exist. Where did this otherworldly creature come from? Some scientists believe it was once the dominant species on Mars. But due to atmospheric changes induced by early Martian settlers, the bog monster slowly approached extinction. Some say that the bog monster has a curious culinary palate. It's drawn by the smell of beef and watermelon. However, watermelon in particular has been reported to induce vomiting in the elusive creature. Certainly beware of picnicking in the vicinity of reported sightings. Brought to you by the Parks and Recreation Department of Nuevo Consuelo. Fascinating. I should change the station so that the forest kiosk transmission doesn't loop. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hey, the light years. I love the light years. Yeah, I'll record that. I love the light years. Here, I'll change the station for Uncle Jetto. Okay, let's see what we got here. Back to Latin Loop. Me encanta Latin Loop. Taco Shack. Come and get. This is the planetary positioning hut map Bob was talking about. Right click on the map in your inventory to jump to previously visited radio huts or PPHs. Let's see what's behind Bob's hut. I'm an employee now. The saucer cannot be activated until all three radio huts have been activated. Please activate all three radio huts in order to triangulate your position. Ugh, that's stupid. It's a safety precaution. Wait, can you hear me? This has been an automated response. Oh. There used to be a game called Obliteroid in this spot. Now it's just this jukebox and it looks like they only have one record. Let's put some light years in the taco shack. Now we're rocking. Hey man, thanks. I really needed some good tunes. I could get lost in these songs. I'll just take these while he's distracted with the song. Let's see, these should work on the fuel door. And the fuel door is open. That's a good idea. I can use these two things together as a siphon. I'll wait for a good opportunity to combine them. Sorry, Troy, but I need a little gas from your car. I still left a little in the tank, so the car should still stay hovering. Oh well, uh, sorry, Troy. Alrighty, 
we should be ready to go. Here we go. I can't climb it. A couple of the bamboo rungs are broken. I'll have to fix it if I want to get up there. I'll just cut this up real quick. I hope they fit. Perfect. Uh-oh, looks like there's no power to PPH number one. One more thing to add to the checklist 2000. It looks like it's missing a fuse. That's probably why the turbine is locked in place. Okay, the fuse is in place, but I still need to find the cable to run from the generator to the turbine base. This diving suit is coming with me. I don't need to cut that. Ugh, this is going to be gross. Free talk. Come and get your coupon now. Hey guys, what's going on? Surprise, surprise, he's back. Hey Dex, what's up? Oh, see, see you guys. Hope you find that robot. We do too, Dex. See ya. Yeah, see ya or whatever.
Sorry, little guy, but if you're not going to let me in, I have to resort to drastic measures. Ha! It worked. I kind of feel bad, though. That hot sauce is really spicy. Oh, well. I'll have to make it up to him later. Now, I have to get inside the mansion and get that power core from Pete. It's probably locked. I shouldn't even try to open it. What good can possibly come from opening a door that's most likely, inevitably, inescapably, indubitably, surely, locked? Oh hey, it's open. Neat. It's a doorbell shaped like a ukulele. Here goes nothing. What do you want? Oh, I, um... Hola, Pete. I talked to you earlier about using your Vrezian power core. You don't take no for an answer, do you? No, sir. I was just hoping to explain why I need it. You see, my friend Aurora and I found this row... Don't want to know. Don't care. Y you don't understand. I needed to find out what happened to my mom. I said I don't care. Now go away. Yikes! Here goes nothing. What do you want? Oh, I, um... Come on, Pete. Can I just borrow the Reason Power Core? No, I said no. Gritty, please? I don't think so. But I'm the hero in this story. Everyone's the hero of their own story. Now go away! Yikes! Let's see what's behind Bob's hut. Ha! He can't get me from in here. Here goes nothing. Got it. Look how happy he is now. I know there's coordinates on the back, but I'm not sure if that's where we want to go yet. Tacos at the top. Come and get your coupon. Hey, I was right. My coin on a string wasn't here. Tacos at the 
<laughs> now this is the reason I made a coin on the string in the first place. Oxygen should be free anyways. Free talk. Come and get your coupon now. Okay, let's see here. All I got was a gumball. Okay, let's see here. Ugh, another gumball. Okay, let's see here. Cool! It's a toy compass! Free taco! Come and get your coupon now! Here's a map. I'm looking for the location of Radio Hut 3. I can find it. I still need a compass, though. I'm working on it. Here's a compass. I hope it's good enough. I think this will do the trick. Looks like we're ready to go. Meet me over by the forest sign when you're ready. <laughs> will do, Polly. Dexter, follow me. I'll show you how to get to that radio hut. It's the only way I can get my navigator's badge. How did he get over there? This way. Follow me. All right. I'm coming. Let's go. Wait, what? There's a path back there? Okay, we're almost there. All right. You found it! Yep, here it is. Here's your map back. I'm sure you'll need it. Thanks, now you can get your navigator's badge. I guess. Looks like my scout leader got the troop lost though, so... Yeah, I guess it wouldn't mean as much coming from a guy who can't even navigate the forest himself. No, it's not that. No? What is it then? I, I just wanted to make my dad proud. He's the one who signed me up for the Space Scouts in the first place. Now I'll go home badgeless. I know families are hard. You know what? I have something for you. I found this Adventures badge. It's an original. You should have it. An Adventures badge? Yep, an original. Like, from before the Verisians? I've only heard of these. Take good care of it. Thanks, Dexter. My dad won't believe it. All right. See ya, Polly. Thanks again. <laughs> See you around, Dex. Good kid. It doesn't seem to work. It's locked. Hey, Max. Hey. Still doing that one-word response thing? Yep. Oh, so, uh, what's new? Hmm. Squat. 
Dang, I really thought I was gonna get you on that one. So, Max, catch anything today? Yeah. Oh yeah? What did you catch? Tank. What kind of tank? Gas. What kind of gas? Look. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a helium tank. Neat. Good job. Thanks. How do you get out to this island? Swim. You swim out here every day? Yeah. But how do you get dry? Sun. But what about on a cloudy day or like when it's rainy? Wet. So you just stay wet all day? Yeah. That's got to be uncomfortable. Yeah. How you feeling today, Max? Good. Yeah, me too. It's kind of been a weird day for me, I guess. Aurora and I are working on reactivating a Vreezen robot that said it knew about my mom or something. My Uncle Jetta won't speak to me about it. It's been really stressful, but it's nice to work with Aurora on something other than making deliveries and sales. She's pretty great, I guess. I mean, we've known each other since we were kids. I just, uh, I don't know. What do you think I should do? Wait. Wait, yeah. I guess I could wait. Wait for the right time. Right, Max? Yeah. You're great to talk to. Yeah. What do you want for the helium tank? Bait. You want bait? Don't you fish for junk? Yeah. Okay. So what kind of bait? Worms. So just like find some worms? Any kind of worms? Yeah. Hey Max, I got some worms for you. Good. So I guess I'll just set these down? Here. Okay. You got it, Max. Great. So can I have the helium tank? Sure. Thanks, Max. Don't go anywhere now. You hear? No. Man. Max is the best. Free tacos at... Come and get your coupon now. Here goes nothing. What do you want? Oh, I, um... Come on, Pete. Can I just borrow the Reason Power Core? No, I said no. Pretty, please? I don't think so. Pretty, please? With nachos on top? Hmm. You know, I'll let you have the Vreesian Power Core. Wow, really? Sure. When pigs fly. What? Let me show you something. Do you see this? Um, what am I looking at? Every day, I wake up, make myself some tea, and I look out this window. I reflect on my achievements and plot the expansion of my multi-planetary ukulele empire. Now, what I don't see are flying pigs. Well, maybe you're not looking hard enough. Ha! Okay. Let me take a look. You want to see a pig fly? Watch this. I don't believe it. it. It's a... flying pig. Man, he just took off. Dude does not like flying pigs, I guess. Now to get the power cord. I wonder if Dexter's still snooping around for the robot. Ah, I shouldn't worry about it. Okay, Pete, where are you keeping that Vreesian power core? They must use this to water the plants. Hey, there's something behind that plant. It's some kind of a remote control. I think Pete was using this to control that dog. No wonder he was so mean. A cable like this may definitely come in handy. No one's around. I guess I'll take it.
I don't want it. Did that painting just click open and then close? The drawer snaps shut when I let go. I need to wedge something in there. What's something I wouldn't mind leaving in there? Hmm, a disgusting piece of fruit perhaps? Hmm. Finally, a use for the most disgusting of all fruits. That drawer unlocked it from the wall. It looks like it's on hinges. Aha, this must be where Pete is keeping that breezing power core. Now I just need to figure out how to get inside of it. Weird. It doesn't have any pin pad or any way to enter the password. I wonder how you open it. Hey, these will look really cool hanging up in the ship. It's a little piece of paper with letters written on it. I think it has musical notes written on it. E minor, G, D, and C. I wonder what this note's for. Allow me to fill the spray bottle with some dirty contaminated water. Free tacos at Free tacos Come and get your coupon. Mm. I don't have any reason to do that. Mm. This ought to take care of those nasty flies. Wow, thanks, Dex. Those flies were driving me crazy. Why don't you go ahead and grab a watermelon on the house? Space Lucky, thanks. Tacos at the Taco Shack. Come and get your coupon now. Cures hunger. I can't lure the bog monster with a watermelon that's not even sliced up yet. Come on. I'll just slice this up real quick. That narrator on the kiosk said watermelons attract the bog monster and induce vomiting. This should be interesting. Time to get my stuff back. Oh man, that's gross! But it worked! And it's all here! My shovel, 
crowbar, screwdriver, bolt cutters, and my decoder glasses. Hey look, that monster puked up a completely intact free ukulele voucher from Pete's Ukulele Emporium. Free taco. Come and get your goop. Cures. It's an old info button. I should push it. P minor is one of the most eerily beautiful minor chords that can be played on the ukulele. Place your fingers in a step-like pattern to give your melodies a haunting and memorable addition. Give the E minor chord a try today. Hey Amy, I have one of those vouchers for a free ukulele. Okay, you can take one of those ukes on the wall behind you. Sweet! Thanks. Uh-huh. I don't want it. Too bad, that's the only one your coupon covers. But you said I can have any one of these on the wall here. No, I said you can have one of those on the wall there. That one. But it doesn't have any strings. Ugh, I guess you can grab a pack of strings from the other room. Great, thanks. Mm-hmm. Are you sure I can take one, Amy? Uh-huh. She's the best. Free tacos at the taco. Hey, can you tune this ukulele for me? Sure, no problem. There you go. Thanks. Are you starting a band? You need a roadie? No, it's nothing like that. I'm trying to figure out what a reason robot knows about my mom. Um... It's it's a long story. Free tacos at the taco shop. I can't dive into that. If I'm getting in this lake, I'm doing a cannonball. But the lake is pretty murky. I'd probably need some kind of a diving suit. Hmm, I wonder where I can get one. Okay, I gotta put this thing on first. Uh, 
that's a little snug. But here comes the spaciest cannonball you've ever seen. No, wait, I'll do a backflip. Get your coupon now! Ooh, look at her hand. That must be how you play an E minor chord. All right, let's see here. E minor chord. Okay, I got it. Oh, look at her hand. That must be how you play a G chord. All right, let's see here. G chord. Okay, I got it. Ooh, look at her hand. 
That must be how you play a C chord. All right, let's see here. A C chord. Okay, I got it. Oh, look at her hand. That must be how you play a D chord. All right, let's see here. A D chord. Okay, I got it. Free talk. Come and get your coupon. Weird. It doesn't have any pin pad or any way to enter the password. I wonder how you open it. That just might work. Now let's see here. Hey, I got the first part of the combination. There's the second one. Okay, just one more to go. I got it. All right, Pete, we're just gonna borrow this for a little while. This should work. Let's see here. <laughs> Sounds like I turned it on in the right order. Sounds like I turned it on in the right order. <laughs> Looks like I turned them all on in order. Now I just have to activate the saucer back at Captain Bob's place. Okay, all three ready huts are activated. Let's see what this thing does. Welcome back, Bob. This is robots. You never. I wonder what that did. Your position has been triangulated and the saucer is now active. Please insert your destination coordinates into the computer terminal on the saucer pad. Neat. I'll go check it out. Spacey, now we have a way to get off planet. And I have the Rhesium Power Core. I should take it to Aurora. And then I used a tiny octopus to find a key in the sunken ship. Was this before or after you persuaded a space scout to navigate you through the forest? I don't quite remember. Anyways, the point is, I found a way off planet. Bob's interplanetary saucer? The one and only. Okay, so now you need to find a Rhesium power core so I can fix this robot. All right, I think Pete might have one of those in his mansion. Aurora, you'll never believe it. I found a Rhesium power core. Wow, Dexter, increíble. Where did you find it? Well, you know, from Pete. Really? He let you borrow it just like that? Um, <laughs> sure. Maybe it's better not to ask. 
Okay, let's see it. Let me put this in the robot and patch him up. Looks good. So why won't he turn on? Rebooting system. That's why. How long do you think it'll take? Reboot complete. Hello, Dexter Stardust. Thank you for repairing me. Oh, well, um, actually... I repair you. Thank you, and you are? Aurora. Thank you, Aurora. You can call me number four. You must be very skilled to assemble and repair such a complex machine as myself. My master will be very happy to meet you. Who is your master? All in due time, Dexter. Number four, why don't you stand up? The functions of my body are still calibrating. I am quite old, so this could take some time. Nevertheless, time is not a luxury we have. We must meet at the rendezvous as quickly as possible. Rendezvous? You found the photo, didn't you? Dex, what's he talking about? I don't know how he knows, but he's talking about this. I found it in Uncle Jetto's basement when I was looking for the pieces of the row. Um, I mean, number four. It has the coordinates on the back. See? Rendezvous coordinates on the back of a family photo? No entiendo. All in due time, Aurora. For now, we must travel to those coordinates. Can this ship take us to Earth's moon? Earth's moon, um, no. Unfortunately, my uncle's locked the navigational computer on the ship. But we do have another way off planet. Good, let's go. There isn't much time. I will put my systems to sleep so my signal cannot be tracked. Tracked? Tracked by who? The Frisians. Number four has been detected on the surface of Mars. Verifying precise coordinates now. Done. Number four is located near a small forested region of the planet. Exact coordinates are 14.56, Plotting our entry into the atmosphere. Once number four is ours again, we can finally wait by what's left of the human race. Sneaking by Sandy and Danny with the robot wasn't easy. I think they're getting suspicious. It's okay. Number four is in the saucer. All we need to do now is put the coordinates in the NAF computer. Yeah, I just... Uh, why are we going to Earth's moon? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose we'll find out when we get there. Coordinates received. Destination, Earth's moon. North, 0 0.67416, East, 23.47314. Enter saucer and push ignition to begin. Have a nice trip. Hey, give me back my photo. Please enter saucer and push ignition to begin. I want my photo back, you stupid machine. Come on, Dexter. We have to go. No, I want my photo back. It's the only picture of my mom I've ever seen. I know, I know, but number four knows something about your mother. I don't know what, but I have a feeling it's pretty important. I just feel like I'm leaving her. You're not. I think, I think we're on the path to find her. Really? You think so? I do. So let's go. I have a button to push. Oh yeah, that's right. This thing runs on autopilot. I'm sure you're thrilled about that. I hate autopilot. It takes the fun out of everything. I'm just happy I don't have to push it. I'd probably push the wrong button and kill us all. Hmm, I haven't seen Dexter snooping around here in a while. Must have given up on that robot. I think I'll go hang out with Bob for a little while. Come on, Aurora. Press the button. <sighs> it's just too easy. I know you hate autopilot, but that's how Bob's saucer shuttle service works. You don't think Bob could actually shuttle people around space, do you? I know, I know. Okay, here we go. So what happens now? Does it take off diagonally, or what? I actually think they take off straight down! Report. 
Robot number four has eluded us in a rudimentary spacecraft. Did we lose them? No, there is a planetary positioning system on this planet which guides spacecrafts. Were you able to interface with it? I was. Where are they going? Earth. Mm-hmm.